was a headline that caught my attention uh, this morning that ended up being a little bit of a clickbait bait thing. It says, Aladdin 2, confirmation, release details, and blah, blah, blah. As it turns out, there is no Aladdin 2 confirmation. <laughs> I read the source like, well, that was rather misleading. But that aside, it did really get me thinking about Aladdin 2. Because the first Aladdin movie that came out, I believe in 2019, uh, May of 2019, yeah. came out. A lot of us went into it with a lot of questions, right? Like none of us had heard of the, the new lead kid, Mina Masoud. None of us had ever heard of him. Uh, Will Smith being picked to play the genie. Okay. I mean, look, there was nobody you could cast in the role of the genie, the role that Robin Williams made immortal. There's nobody they could have cast that everybody would have gone, yeah, that's great. That's going to be a great. Nobody would have been happy with everybody. And so with Will Smith, they picked him, and there were some of us thought this has potential, and some people thought that this was bad, but whatever. The movie comes out, and it's, to me, amazing. I loved Guy Ritchie's Aladdin. It's not as good as the original animated, but I thought it was absolutely fantastic. My wife and I walked home from the theater, talked about it, turned around, walked back to the movie theater, and watched it again. Uh, and then proceeded to watch it more times in theaters. We really had a great time with it. It was a wonderful little movie. And the question has been, where's the sequel? We've been talking about it. And I think we've landed on the decision, or I, I, at least I've come to a conclusion here that I don't know if many of you will share, maybe all of you share, maybe none of you will. But that the Will Smith slap on Chris Rock, I think, killed Aladdin 2. Uh, let's go back and look at the timeline of this, shall we? As we're looking at Aladdin. In May of 2019, Aladdin comes out in theaters, goes on to make over a billion dollars, which even the most optimistic people like me did not think in a million years this movie was going to make over a billion, but it did. Word of mouth was hot. People kept going back to see it, bringing more audiences, made over a billion dollars. Now, fast forward to February of 2020, and in Variety Magazine itself, they have a big story that Disney has confirmed that Aladdin 2 is officially in the works. Now, it probably was never going to be Return of Jafar, but it was probably going to be like a new original story. The way they did the first one really did set it up that there's more story to tell with these characters. I was very excited about it. So as early as February 2020, 2020 Disney was saying, confirmed, it's in the works. We're making this movie. Then, and then we'd hear little chatter here and there about what was going on and stuff like that. Then March of 2022 comes. Will Smith, in all of his wisdom, decides to walk on stage and physically assault Chris Rock and smacks him on live television at the Oscars, uh, ruining a very carefully, wonderfully crafted public image that he, is, he had had for most of his life. Um, and I still love Will Smith. I do. But that was monumentally stupid, what he did. And after March of 2022, nearly a full year passed where we heard nothing. All of a sudden, nobody was talking about Aladdin 2 anymore, the possibilities of it, until March of 2023, when the star of Aladdin, Mina Masoud, said this, that in responding to somebody on social media, that the possibilities of Aladdin 2 were now very unlikely. Mm. Wasn't going to happen. Look, lots of movies have a plan to get made, and then a million different things come along that prevent it from ever happening. It happens all the time in the business. But this Aladdin thing was something that, you know, no pun intended, captured magic in a bottle, was an astounding success, exceeded all expectations, made over a billion dollars at the box office, and headlines and things like, Variety and whatnot, de declaring that Disney has officially planned, it's in the works, it's moving, it's going, this movie's going to happen. Honestly, even though I acknowledge we're in a business where a lot of different things can happen, I think we can safely say at this point now in 2023, heading into 2024, this movie, number one, is never going to happen. And number two, I think it's safe to say that the it incident, we're still feeling the repercussions of the incident at the Oscars. I think the Will Smith slap killed this movie. Which is, again, is a really unfortunate thing. And listen, before you make any assumptions, I am not an anti-Will Smith guy. I, I love Will Smith. I'm a, I've been a big fan of his for a very, very long time. And I think he deserves an opportunity to rehabilitate his image and go on and continue to make movies giving great performances. I do. But that doesn't mean there aren't consequences to actions. And I think this is... 
the newest on the list of the consequences is that I, I think this movie would have been made 100%. I think they might have even been in production of this movie by now if it wasn't for the slap at the Oscars. I, I don't know that for sure, but that's my guess. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, Mint Mobile. Signing your life away to a big wireless provider is kind of like being trapped on a roller coaster from hell. Sure, it looks like fun at first. They probably even threw in a free phone, but now you can't get off. Month after month of insane bills and unexpected thrills, like overages and surprise fees. If that sounds like your current big wireless plan, it's time to get off the ride with Mint Mobile. For a limited time, wireless plans from Mint Mobile are just $15 a month. That's unlimited talk, text, and data for just 15 bucks a month. You guys know before I came to Mint Mobile, I was paying triple what I am paying now on the standard big wireless plan, and I will never go back. All plans come with unlimited talk, text, and high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with all your existing contacts. To get your new unlimited wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped right to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash campia. That's mintmobile.com dot com slash campia cut your wireless bill to just 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia anyway chris as we look at the timeline mm -hmm. of everything that happened with aladdin claims that they were going to do another one when the slap happened the fact that we hadn't heard anything since and then just a few months ago me and us out saying it's pretty unlikely this thing's going to happen number one do you still think there's a chance they could do this and if it doesn't get made do you agree with me that i think Probably it was the slap that did it, or do you think it could be one of the other million things in this industry that have stopped other movies from getting made too? How do you see it? I do think it's the slap, unfortunately. And to be clear, obviously anytime somebody does something, there should be consequences. That being said, and this could be maybe because Hollywood is changing and we are cracking down more on bad behavior than we have in the past. I brought this up when the slap happened. I know Aaron brought this up quite a bit too so many more egregious things have happened and people's careers have been allowed to continue. And I mean, really horrific crimes. Assault is no joke. Smacking somebody is no joke. Although the memes have been delightful. Thank you for those. But so many other people in Hollywood have behaved so much more egregiously multiple times and have been allowed to return. So it's unfortunate that this incident is seemingly the deal breaker of Will Smith's career. Now, time will tell if that's actually true. I do think there's still hope for this movie because it made so much gosh dang money. And Disney loves money. I mean, we all do, but Disney really likes it. That mouse needs his cheddar and this movie provided it. <laughs> and in a world where so many of the live action adaptations have not really sung, you know, Little Mermaid, eventually, she found her legs, she eventually did quite well. Cinderella, well done, but not a huge box office no, success by any means. It was means. great, but it did yeah. not, was not a box office hit Beauty by and the stretch. Beast, meh. This was one of those rare occasions where the live action really worked for people and did well. So I think that Disney's going to try to circle back to this and come back to it and figure something out. Because you can do something else. I mean, Return of Jafar, they replaced Robin Williams' voice with a sound alike. And I know live action is different. And then eventually Robin Williams came back for the third installment for Aladdin uh, versus the King of Thieves. Um, maybe they go King of Thieves. Maybe they make it less about the genie since he's freed. Maybe they figure out some other way to go about it. Or they just bring Will Smith back after things have calmed down a little bit. I think bit. part of the problem was that it, it airs on ABC, right? The awards? Yeah. Yes. That's Disney owned. Yeah. Well, so I mean, you did the, that in Iger's house. That, that There's two problems, right? Like we t Obviously, there's been more egregious behavior in Hollywood, yes very rarely was it broadcast live on national television at an event like the Oscars. You know, at I mean, that was a huge thing. Then the second part of that is, I think most people agree Will Smith should be allowed to come back, but you're talking about a Disney film about a children's property with a guy who literally at the Oscars, who should have fucking known better, yeah. got up, walked up, made it all about him, walked up on stage and physically assaulted somebody over a joke and like if we're talking about bad boys that's different right that's why they are making another bad boys and will smith's going to be in that but this is a chill a disney children's film it i think that the circumstances make it even a little bit more precarious okay. it's a little bit more challenging so and I listen, I am also going to keep my fingers crossed that this happens. I love the first one. I would love to see these characters continue into a second one, especially if Guy Ritchie comes back to direct it again. I would love to see it. I, 
at this point, I just don't see it happening, unfortunately. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called The John Campy Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.